Hey guys, it's Jessie and welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry for the kind of lack of makeup today, but I'm basically pre-filming this before my flight later today. So um, this is coming at you a little bit less put together than I would normally be. But I really wanted to get this video pre-filmed and shared with you guys because I really want to chat to you about my five star reads and basically share them with you. So obviously today I'm going to be sharing with you all of my five star reads. I haven't got tons and tons, so I've got five physical books and then let me just count and then five on my phone so 10 books in total that i've rated five stars um a couple of the things on my goodreads are rated five stars so i wouldn't technically put them as five stars just because they're kind of closer to 4.75 but all of these are my solid five star reads so without further ado i'm just going to get straight into it i'm going to go off my phone first of the books on my phone that i've rated five stars and then show you the physical ones so the first one is kind of just a basic one it's the hunger games there's my one of my favorite books of all time i actually do need to reread it i haven't read it in a while and um, I absolutely love that book it's my favorite movie the first one is my favorite book like I really do love it it's just kind of so nostalgic for me and I just think it's an incredible like concept I really think it kind of kick-started the massive dystopian craze that we saw and um, also sorry I've got tons of lights at the moment so sorry if I sound a bit croaky but I absolutely love that book I think it's incredible but I won't talk about that one for too long uh, the next one we have is the sweetest oblivion which is the number one the first book in the maid series um, this does have an average rating of 4.14 so reasonably high it's just not me going out on a limb I have heard that some dodgy things about the author that she's a bit problematic but um, I loved this book the second book I thought was okay and I didn't actually read the third book but the first book I really really love this is a um, mafia romance and um, kind of forced marriage um, kind of marriage and convenience type of thing um, and for forced proximity and I really really love this book so really really enjoyed this one I thought it was a super good read if you're into mafia romance this is a good kind of like gateway in because it's less intense than some of the others that I've read before then we have the first Colleen Hoover book um I think there's three or four on this list I can't really remember but I love Colleen Hoover she is my favorite author so the first book of hers on this list is Verity um this is her first thriller and it is exceptional I love this one I'm normally into kind of romance first and then the kind of mystery books second and this kind of pairs both together I absolutely adored it this has an average rating of 4.43 so really really high basically this author has been hired to kind of ghostwrite slash finish the book series of this woman Verity who's got in an accident so she goes to live with Verity and her husband Verity's basically bed bound and can't speak or move or anything um, and she basically is sorting through to work out this how to write this book and she finds her manuscript of an autobiography and there's a lot of like really disturbing secrets in there so it kind of flips between her reading the biography autobiography and her kind of living her daily life in the house so it's really really good and like all Colleen Hoover books it has a really good plot twist so I really really love that one then we have the next Colleen Hoover one which is Regretting You this is one of her less talked about books I think so this has got an average rating of 4.24 stars and I love this one it's basically a dual POV but between a mother and a daughter and they basically find out this big secret um, about a few people in their lives and it kind of rocks their world basically it's a really massive thing they're basically kind of finding romance in different places so one's kind of like a bad boy good girl type of romance and another one is kind of like a childhood friends to lovers type of thing forbidden romance so really really good I absolutely adored this one and I definitely think that needs a lot more hype than it got then we have reminders of him which is Colleen Hoover's newest book this is exceptional this and It Ends Plus, which I'm obviously going to talk about in a bit, because how could I not, are two of my favourite Colleen Hoover books of all time. They are my two favourite. I really don't know which I would put first. I really need to reread It Ends With Us to kind of pair it up against reminders of him. But this has an average rating of 4.57 stars, so really, really high as well. This is basically about a mum who's been in prison and kind of does something really bad. And she gets out of prison, she's looking to kind of reunite with her daughter in this old town where everyone kind of knows what she did and she's kind of hated. There's obviously a romance in here, but it's also kind of more... I feel like this, obviously it focuses on a romance, it's a romance book, but it also has a lot more about Kenna, the girl herself, um, and trying to kind of reunite with her daughter. I thought it was absolutely a beautiful story, really, really well written, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, and 
absolutely love that one so that was another one obviously of my five star reads and then that is all of the ones that i have on my phone so then moving on to the five that i have to talk about in person ones the first one we have of course how can i not mention it it ends with us by colleen hoover this is so viral on book talk on youtube i think it used to be viral it is amazing i won't tell you about this one because if you haven't read it i really would recommend you go in blind um that's what i did and i think i loved it even more i really didn't have very high expect like i didn't have low expectations um but i didn't really have any expectations for this book and i didn't ha have like no at all what was happening so the plot twist of sorts was really shocking to me and um i absolutely love this book really really like adore it this is the one book that i will literally not listen to any criticism of um i feel like i just relate so much to lily i found the story so powerful and i absolutely loved her and loved the kind of reality of this book um and it was absolutely incredible so um i am I'm very very happy that I read this blind if you can do that because I think it will sit the best with you if you do do that um, but yeah absolutely love this one this is probably one of my favorite books this I would say this is my favorite book ever but reminders of him is also up there as well then we have good girl bad blood so this kind of takes a different turn this one is more of a mystery book there is an underlying romance but it's very very minor um this is the second book in the good girl's guide to murder trilogy give the first book 4.75 this one five stars and then the third book I'd probably give some in between 4.75 and 5 but I don't get that picky with my ratings I absolutely adored this one so it kind of carries on the story of Pip and she's doing another murder investigation um, or like disappearance investigation of someone she knows so really 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 good had all the elements of the first book that I loved and just kind of even built on it even more I read this all in one night it was absolutely incredible um, again this is one of my favourite series of all time so I definitely recommend all three books are super super strong and even if you aren't really into mystery or kind of like crime books um you would really really enjoy this i think i definitely think it's a good step in i will mention it is a kind of ya book it's not super mature it, she is a high school student so it's not too crazy like adult themes or anything but really really good i definitely would recommend that one then we have one of my favorite books we have obviously these are all my five star reads red white and royal blue i love this one this is basically a romance between the first son of america and the prince of wales and it is alex and henry and it is absolutely adorable i love this book it is a bit of a longer one it's a bit bigger but um it is incredible um i really really would recommend this one katie mcquinston is one of my favorite authors i'm about to read one last stop and also have i kiss sarah wheeler i believe that's the next one i'm definitely going to be getting that as soon as it comes out in paperback but this is such an adorable book i really 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 enjoyed every second of it alex who is the um protagonist we see it all through his eyes as far as i'm aware i don't think it's your pov i absolutely love him he is hilarious he is him and pip from good girl's guide to murder are my two favorite protagonists of all time um really really good basically they um get in like a little bit of a fight and then they get paparazzi pics and they then have to kind of do a fake friendship to kind of prove that they are friends and then obviously more happens from there this is an incredible book i really really love it and just like the cover art is so so cute so that was a five star read from me then we have if this gets out this is like um basically one direction like harry and louis not gonna lie kind of getting those vibes um but this is obviously a completely fictional book um basically ruben and zach are two members of saturday which is the like one of the biggest boy bands in the world and they basically end up falling in love and they have to kind of keep it a secret but it's like oh like one of them's kind of coming to terms with their sexuality and it's really 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 just such a lovely book i love this one as a massive fan of boy bands i really really enjoyed this book i mean obviously um it's just like i love anything that has kind of anything to do with like fame and like celebrities where one of them's famous or like two of them are or whatever i love books like that so really really enjoyed this one and this one is so so cute um really really enjoyed this one i thought it was really 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 good so that got a five star as well and then my final five star read is a classic the love hypothesis this is such a cute book basically it's fake dating enemies to lovers grumpy sunshine all that good stuff olive is basically trying to prove to her friend that she's over this guy so she kisses and um, the first guy she sees which is basically her a professor at her university she is a master's phd student so she's older it's not like student teacher or anything like that not really um, but basically they have to fake date and chaos obviously ensues um this is such a cute book i really really loved it 
Um, I love Olive in this, I love Adam, I think they're so cute together and I really really enjoyed this book and I think this has got a lot of 5 star ratings from a lot of people, I really enjoyed it and it is a little bit shorter so if you wanted an easier read there is that too. So yeah those were all of my 5 star reads, let me know yours in the comments down below or just like a little snippet of them, I would love to know, always happy to hear recommendations. But yeah I really hope you guys did enjoy this video, if you did don't forget to give it a like down below, you can hit subscribe, turn the bell to a little club, make sure you turn on all notifications so they'll be notified every single time I post a new video. If you want to watch my other videos, there'll be two on the screen now to pick from, as well as a load linked up in the cards from earlier. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!